So having a healthy spiritual practice will help you through difficult times. Those difficult times will push you to the limits to prove to yourself that you are capable of handling the responsibility, handling the blessing that is coming through. Because after every temptation, after every test, there's always a blessing, a manifestation, a gift waiting for you. The manifestation came through. It came through. Hey everyone, this is Ashley. So I told you guys I wanted to do a video explaining to you my experience with the vid, if you know what I mean by the vid, and my, my family and our experience. But I'm not talking about from a physical standpoint, although it was times where it was excruciating. However, I want to talk about the spiritual activations and how you can tap into higher spiritual realms through suffering. Now you can't get it through pleasure, don't get me wrong. Uh, you can get it through pleasure quite frequently if you set your intentions to do so. But if you are going through a difficult time, if you are going through whether it is physical sickness or mental, emotional, psychological, I'm not a doctor, but however, I just wanna offer my personal experience and my opinion about this. Now, I have had this happen to me a couple times, but not the, the vid part, but um, years ago, uh, before I went on this huge, huge spiritual activation in my life, this was maybe about four, maybe about four and a half years, or five. That was uh, around the time that I met my, my twin flame. And I remember three days spiritual flu and the activations that came through, then that's when it was around a, an eclipse, some eclipse that hadn't happened in like a hundred years or something and through that eclipse i received so many downloads but it was i was in pain but i received the downloads so another thing too you can set the intention through pleasure or through pain and this is a, a esoteric principle um, and you can even see this in the in the bible but you can see this theme that through great pleasure but also through great pain you can see this in esoteric principles like i was saying but it could be self-inflicted where they can bring through a certain manifestation so right after i recorded the new moon in cancer and i edited it up i went to bed like maybe about three o'clock in the morning my oldest daughter she actually wasn't feeling well the previous night but i didn't really think too much of it but <laughs> for about 36 hours i was in excruciating pain like it was so difficult i couldn't even keep down water i had to force myself to keep down water and um my whole body ached and my whole body was shaking and i had to, it was shaking especially when i was trying to keep down the, the fluid so i wouldn't become dehydrated during that when i would go i would drift in and out of sleep i could hear myself speaking in the angelic language and i could hear my angel speaking to me and i could see and feel things of the future, manifestations. I couldn't see in detail, but I can see and feel. And it's really about the feeling. Sometimes that through the seeking of pleasure, especially in this culture, that we can miss the point. So at times it may come through a painful situation, but it's about where you are spiritually. If this had happened to me a couple years ago, even this last year, actually I had some spiritual activations last year too, and it wasn't always the, the pleasurable experiences, but it was more so emotional and psychological as I had a lot of placements moving through my sun, my rising, as well as my moon. Um, and I was having some activations through there. So I did gain some activations through pleasurable but also some different types of painful situations last year but through physical pain it can be it can express itself differently through physical pleasure and the seeking of physical pleasure as that is very highlighted and why wouldn't it be it does feel good to feel good right um, <clears throat> that we could overlook the spiritual message behind it so at times to get our attention that the divine spirit will allow the opposite end of the polarity. There's 
two sides of the polarity. You have light, you have dark, you have pleasure, you have pain. You have love, you have hate, but they're both the same things, just opposite ends of the spectrum. So we have to experience both, but you can make things a lot easier for yourself if you set the intention for to gain access to higher spiritual realms. Another thing that I did is that I played constant spiritual meditations, scriptures, I played them continuously. Uh, in my sleep, I could hear myself praying, like I was saying. I could hear myself and I could hear my angel speaking to me. I could feel the downloads in my body. I could feel the future. Sometimes we, we receive dreams and visions through visions, our, our eye, through our eyes and through our dream state, but we also can receive messages differently. Now in this situation, I received a lot of messages through my body and how the way my body, my body was hurting, but it was still a certain level of joy that was coming through. And it was about visions that I've had before. And it was confirmation of those visions. Now, maybe other people have experienced, it, experienced this. I don't know if this is a, a certain Claire, like a Claire audience, a Claire sentience. I don't know exactly what it could be. It's very similar to when you see number confirmations or when you see symbols that are confirmations. That's a visual. Or you may hear certain sounds and it may be a confirmation for you specifically. In this situation, through the pain in my body that activated or allowed a different type of joy to come over me was connected to those manifestations. So I set the atmosphere for it to be conducive of activating and having a different mindset. Because I could have, <laughs> I could have did anything else besides that. I was just in so much pain. And being that I have a, a spiritual practice, I thankfully have a regular spiritual practice. This allowed me to be able to slip into certain mind frames easier. So having a healthy spiritual practice will help you through difficult times. Those difficult times will push you to the limits to prove to yourself that you are capable of handling the responsibility handling the blessing that is coming through because after every temptation after every test there's always a blessing a manifestation a gift waiting for you and a gift did show up for me actually one that i i've been praying for and it came and i almost threw it away too this is another thing too when i thought i was being like eliminated as the option for this specific blessing that something told me, I mean, I already know the Holy Spirit told me, was like, no, don't take no for an answer. Give it one more try. And I was still was, I was still was in pain. It was after the first 36 hours, so I was able to walk around and stuff like that. Um, I was out of bed, but I was still very, you know, weak. I could hardly talk at all. And the manifestation came through. It came through. It came through. If I had been in a different state of mind, I probably wouldn't even try it again. So if you're believing about something, don't give up. Don't take no for an answer. If you know that it's for you, don't take no for an answer. Now the divine spirit may say, not right now, but it doesn't mean that it's a no. If a human is telling you no, and but God, the all, your angels, your guides have, have told you a yes, they don't take that person's word for it. There's always a way. You will be tested and tried in many different ways. And it can come through finances. It can come through relationships. It can come through your career. But sometimes it may be for a warning. It could be a change of diet. It could be that that person is no good for you or you're no good for that person, it's typically hand in hand, that it's something greater out there for you, but you have to shed the dead weight. 
many illnesses and sicknesses, I'm not saying I'm a doctor, they're tied to our emotions, energy and motion. How, how is your energy working? Are you in control of your energy or is your emotions in control of you that causes you to eat things that are not conducive for your body, your growth, for your spiritual practice? Because we can limit our spiritual practice through our physical diet. We can hinder our spiritual growth through our physical diet. Implementing fasting, speaking of which, 21 day fast, Daniel fast coming up, a complete life reset for the spring equinox, which is esoterically and biblically the New Year's. So that's coming up. So you will see posts, I will be posting about that frequently. But back to it, these tests are to help prepare us for the quiz, or is a quiz? I think a quiz. <laughs> I think a quiz. Okay, so these quizzes are to prepare you for the test or the final. Yeah, let me let me say that. I don't know which one comes first. Let me look that up. Bro. Okay. So these quizzes are setting you up for the tests, and the tests will set you up for the final. So the quiz you have, you know, your teacher would give you a pop quiz that whole vid situation was a pop quiz that popped up on me i had no time to really study for it <laughs> I, I mean i had my spiritual practices thankfully but i wasn't prepared for it it just popped up out of nowhere that pop quiz and then came a test and thankfully i passed that test so i got the reward but there's a final lurking out there. So I'm getting prepared for the final, you know, for a bigger manifestation to come through. So it's going to be a couple other pop quizzes, a couple other tests that prepare me for that final. And you have to be prepared for the final, too. So you can pass to the next level. And the final is the consistency of tests that are a consistency of pop quizzes. Those pop quizzes can be something very small. It can be you've been working on your temperament and someone's gonna cut you off in traffic, or, some, or your boss is gonna say something to you, or your spouse may say something to you, or your child may push your buttons. Are you gonna pass that pop quiz? And that's what the Divine Spirit wants to prepare you for, for you to pass the pop quiz, pass the test, pass the final, and graduate to the next grade. So therefore, you're no longer energetically bothered by whatever the circumstance may be. When I was a child, I, I, I thought and acted like a child. As I became an adult, I did and thought like an adult. And that's spiritually, you know. I still have spiritual childlike qualities that I'm working on, but we have to be actively working on them so we can mature spiritually. Because you never know what tests what quiz, what final that the Divine Spirit will give you. Not to be a fear monger or anything like that. Sometimes we, we or others may fail tests and quiz and, and the different challenges of life because we weren't spiritually prepared for them. But having that healthy, stable, spiritual base will help you to pass to the next level will help you when those situations may pop up and arise because you are intuitively in alignment with the divine direction and you have implemented these practices that will help you be able to know what to do, what not to do, and how to ride over your physical circumstances. We have different realities out here that we all can tap into. I could have tapped into the reality of like, what was me, let me, let me lay here and cry and curse, curse the spirits for allowing this to happen. But thankfully, I was praising, I was thanking, I was receiving downloads and upgrades at the same time. And it was a beautiful thing. That's the reason why it was so beautiful. And there's so many other opportunities for to rise to the occasion, to bring more blessings into your life. Because we'll, we'll be able to take off the spiritual blinder and see all of the opportunities around us. 
all the rewards. So I hope this video helped and I thank you so much for tuning in. If you care to do so, please comment down below, share the video, join the ministry here, regardless of what platform you may be on. And I thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you guys later. All right, peace.